When I talk with people in the course of this campaign, the thing that I hear most frequently is people are really worried about how expensive it's getting to live in Austin. And I think a big part of that is because it hasn't been a priority at City Hall to try and keep costs down, to try and keep the city affordable. Um, so that's a huge issue for me. Another really serious concern people have is water. People are genuinely worried about where our water is going to come from. I would make Austin the most water-wise city in the nation. We have the population and the willingness among our people to develop the absolute best practices for conserving and reusing our water and fixing our leaking water pipes. But we aren't, we aren't even close to being a leader in that regard. The city of San Antonio has us beat hands down on water conservation, on water reuse, and they, they've come a great distance. They were very bad about water conservation just a few years ago. So it's possible to make great strides in a very short period of time if that's the priority of your leadership at the city, and it has not been a priority here. I think everyone knows when they look around at the lakes that we are in a serious drought. All the climate scientists are in, in agreement about this. We are entering a period of epic, historic drought, and the city leadership is not prepared and I don't think is taking this issue seriously enough. Um, on the whole question of affordability, I think one of the things that really bothers people is what looks like a, just a willingness at City Hall to give away city assets and city revenues because they think we have to pay people to come here. And I think we need stronger leadership at City Hall, we need more vision, and I think we need someone in the mayor's office who when the lobbyists and all of the professional nice guys come in the door and say, have I got a deal for you, the person in the mayor's office will say, I'm not sure that's such a good deal for our citizens. One example in particular is the giveaway of $4.3 million in revenues that should have come to the general fund to the Marriott Hotel when they were going to come here anyway. Now the mayor says he doesn't know that they were going to come anyway, but the facts speak differently. The Marriott had already bought the land, they had bulldozed Las Manitas, and in 2010, after the economy started to come back up, they came to the city and said, we want a number of things from you. And the city gave it to them, including an increase in their height downtown. And if the city gives a big corporation the ability to build much higher, that's like giving someone free blocks of downtown real estate. It's a thing of enormous value. That's the point at which I would have said, thank you very much, we've worked with you in a very cooperative fashion and we look forward to you building the hotel. But no, they came back in 2011 and asked for $4.3 million in fee revenues and the city gave it to them. I would not do that. I don't think that we need to be priming the pump for more hotels downtown after we've invested in expanding the convention center and wildly succeeded in, in attracting tourists to Austin. There's now a vast demand for more hotel rooms and an undersupply. That's why people rent hotels in Waco when they come for big events in Austin, because there's not enough hotels. We don't need to be paying hotels to come into our downtown. And yet the current mayor not only did the $4.3 million giveaway to the Marriott, he also offered to do the same thing for the Manchester Group hotels when they had said publicly they'd come without a subsidy. I think that's the wrong use of public resources. And it happened at a time when the city tr told the citizens of Austin, I'm sorry, we don't have enough money for your community pools. We're, we're going to have to close some during the summer. And I'm sorry, um, we have to cut the trail of lights because we don't have enough money for that. And I'm sorry, we don't have enough money to fund the libraries adequately. Well, then why are we giving away city revenue if we don't have enough money to provide basic services to the citizens? I'm running for mayor to bring a change to that. I am Bridget Shea, and I am running for mayor of Austin. Yeah.